Hello guys, here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it, and if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level, comment, and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. Goku and Vegeta would sneak attack Broly, however none of their attacks were effective. That's right, the power of Super Ultra Saiyan God didn't even compare to the power of a king of everything. Goku, with his current powers, won't be able to deal with that guy. You better think fast about a way out, or that bloodthirsty guy will kill you. I know, but I really don't know what I can do. His power is so immense, I can't let go of his grip. Is that all you have? Are you really Saiyans? You two don't look like more than simple insects. Damn it! Don't make fun of us, especially me. I'm the prince of the Saiyans! Both warriors began to put much more power into their blows. However, Broly's power was so much that with one hand, for each one, he was able to subdue them. Meanwhile, outside of all those universes, there were 12 gods of destruction in their arduous training. That's right, they would not be easy prey for the Saiyan who would have absorbed Xenosama's powers. Meanwhile, in Universe 11, there was the god of destruction, Vermouth. Margarita, what chance do we have in this coming battle? From what I understand, the Saiyan Goku and Vegeta come from a warrior race. Their power has no limits. I don't know exactly, but we don't have enough power. We'll be destroyed imminently. I can't believe those two Saiyans have the power to make even a king fear him at all. It's incredible. In another universe, to be more exact, at Universe 7, there was Beerus, who would have achieved a transformation that would have increased his power in an incredible way, being at the same with an angel, but not above an angel supreme as was Whis. Sir Beerus, I can tell that his power has grown in an incredible way. Very proud of you and your new power. All this power is to assassinate those two Saiyans, although deep down I don't want to do it. Our orders are from the true kings. That's right, Birasama, we don't have any other choice. But still, those Saiyans were nothing more than a nuisance to us. You're right, Wiss. The only thing we have to do is eliminate them so that all the twelve universes enter into peace. Meanwhile, in the king's palace of everything, there was a Daishenken talking with Xenosama. My lord. What will we do if the power of those Saiyans rises much higher, and they are able to break the seal? Well, whatever is in our hands, those damned are the only hindrance to our plans. Those damned Saiyans, they've always opposed me. I understand, sir. With your permission, I'm going to raise my power. Daishenken would leave the kingdom altogether, going to a room which made his power increase in an extremely incredible way. Returning to the battle, Goku and Vegeta were very injured. No matter how they attacked, they were always evaded by the power of the great Broly. I really didn't have to use 50% of my full power. They're ridiculously weak. I haven't even gone into my combat form. What did you say? So all this time, this has only been a game for you. Deku, who was watching the entire battle, it seemed, the power of those Saiyans is impressive. Being able to eliminate most of the Supreme Gods with the exception of the three most powerful, Broly's being the strongest, he's treating them like children. In another place, there was Hydra that had already covered all her energies. Damn, those bastards will pay me. They won't get away with it. I'll kill them. Now at that precise moment, a new Supreme God will arrive. What are you supposed to do here, Ryota? I could feel the great battle you had against those Saiyan gods. Do you come to make fun of me? Of course not. What I come to offer you is an alliance, since like Broly, those two guys are Saiyans. We cannot allow new Saiyan gods to appear wanting to dominate everything. But, but, but what are you saying? Do you want to face the great god Broly-sama? With just one of his blows, he is capable of tearing you to pieces. I know. But before facing him, we must drink the blood of the ancient supreme god of death. With this power, we will be invincible warriors, being able to defeat whoever stands in front of us. Ancient supreme god of death? I've never heard of him. 
Who is he? It's a legend from millions of years ago, who was the one who ruled this entire dimension. And a warrior named Yamoshi was able to exterminate him. But what I found out now is that he was not able to exterminate him without sacrificing something. He lost life that day. How the hell do you want us to bring to life a being that we don't know if he exists? He existed, since I have his essence in my possession. We had to open a portal, leaving the terrible essence which was known as the Essence of Slaughter. What the hell is that, Ryota? The power it gives off is uncomprehensible! We'll die if we try to master such power! No, Hydra. If we drink the blood of the ancient Supreme God, we'll be able to master this power. After a few moments, Ryota was able to convince Hydra. That's right, both gods went out throughout the great universe in search of the blood of the first god of death. At that precise moment, they felt like giant powers were colliding with each other. Damn, that's the power of the great Broly and he's fighting with those damn Saiyans. Exactly, Hydra. Those three unite, they would be able to end everything that exists in this dimension and the dimension of the normal gods. Both of them, much more determined than before, began to search for the blood of the ancient god of death until they could find it. That's right, when they found it, a silhouette appeared on the, her forehead. Those who have found a little of my blood, drink it, and you will receive great power. But in exchange, you will have to bring me to life. I always knew that I would meet you again, father. So you are Ryota. From what I see, you have done my will. Now do it. Drink my blood. So they will end all that damn Saiyan race! What do you mean, father? What does this mean, Ryota? Everything I've told you is true, but omit the part where the old god of death was my father. That's why I'm the second most powerful god, and Broly? Ha ha ha! Broly is the son of the legendary Yamoshi. What the hell did you just say? How is that possible? Millions of years ago, my father named Akinai Heleng was the ruler of everything. That's right, my powerful father has no rival. Until one day, a powerful warrior came to confront him. He called himself Yamoshi, the father of the Saiyans. Their battle was legendary. It lasted a few days, both almost unlimited powers. But that damn Saiyan increased his power much more while the battle was going on. That's right, he no longer had any more power. He decided to detonate to take my father along with the... I can't believe it, but why did two subjects with such great powers face each other? At that moment, lightning would strike the ground, and the sky would become thunderous. You will drink my blood, or not pathetic god. I'm sorry sir, of course, and these are also fed up with all these damn Saiyans. Both warriors drank the blood of the ancient god of death, However, at that moment, Hydra would feel something strange in his being. What's happening to me? I'm sorry, Hydra. It's not personal. You're just collateral damage, but I'll do your will. We'll finish off one of those Saiyans. At that moment, a great explosion was present. However, all the power of the Supreme God Hydra would have been absorbed by said source. Just a little more and I'll wake up completely. Returning to the battlefield, both Saiyans were not able to fight as a team to face said Saiyan. Diokin! Goku would leave Broly without vision for a few moments. At that precise moment, he would take Vegeta and teleport to another place. What are you doing, Kakarot? No matter how much we hide our key, that guy will find us and tear us apart. I can't believe all his power. We'll not allow it. We'll use the fusion. I still keep that potra of that Supreme Kaoshin gave us. I'm not given to merge with you, damn insect. Damn it, Vegeta! It's the only way that we have against that monster, since we have not even fighted together with it! Are you sure, Kakarot, that if we merge, we'll be able to defeat him? I'm not sure about this. What I'm sure about is that if we obtain a power we'll never seen before! What they didn't know was that Broly was only testing them, but he wasn't being friendly at all. So they thought he wanted to kill them, and at that moment he found them. They have no escape. It'll be their end. Take this damn- Broly would have changed to a large sphere of key, with the intention that these, due to the desperation of dying, increase his powers more. Throw it at me quickly, insect! Goku would throw the Potter appended at him. 
Now, yes, we'll be able to eliminate this dam. Both warriors came together, giving birth to the powerful Vegito. At that moment, all the universes of said dimension trembled, making the gods feel such terrible power. What the hell? This power is perhaps that of two Saiyans. I can't believe it. In all the universes, they were comments similar to that of the Ice Emperor by Akua. What the hell is going on? I feel the key of a completely powerful being near those Saiyans. Not even their power outshines them. Who is it? His power doesn't lose against mine. Vegeta would touch the great sphere of power with his hands, starting to run with this. What? I can't believe it! At that moment, Vegeta would kick him, throwing him off the planet from which they were fighting. Broly would observe a new warrior. They would not observe Goku or Vegeta. Who are you? And what did you do with the two Saiyans? Kakaroto and Vegeta decided to form a single being. I'm the fusion of both, and the name is Vegito. The power of those two was so great that their union would form a warrior of such power. I can't believe it. However, a powerful blow would take Broly out of his thoughts. Vegito began to attack without warning. Broly, having not raised his power, was in a few troubles. Damn it. This bastard is putting pressure on me in an incredible way. I can't believe it. Take this cursed feeling of power of a Saiyan King. Eliminator attack of the great Vegito. Vegito would have loaded a large sphere in his hands with the energy of the king of everything. Said attack was capable of eliminating a being much more powerful than him. Deku was watching this entire battle would be surprised. Mister, dodge that attack. I can feel the power of a king of everything in that incredible technique. However, he wouldn't have given him time. The attack hit him squarely. The veins of Broly's body were popping. It was obvious that he was making an effort. I realize you're a worthy opponent, but how about this? Broly would raise a large part of his power, managing to stop little by little. I can't believe what I'm seeing. He's stopping a king's attack completely with his hands. Broly would send the attack flying. With a loud shout, it began to increase his power in an overwhelming way. Broly was raising his power in an incredible way, causing multiple dimensional cracks to be created all over the space. It's amazing how the power of the Supreme God, even with the fusion, I'm not sure I could beat it. Broly would have finished raising his power. His hair would have turned silver. Broly had gone into combat form, with which he was able to face all the Supreme Gods, except the second and third, since these had a similar power. Who the hell are you? What have you done with the Saiyans I was fighting with? So you didn't notice. Well, I'm the fusion of both Saiyans. I'm Vegito. And this is Vegito Ultra Instinct. Vegito would go Ultra Instinct, surprising Broly and Deku, who was watching this battle. How is it possible with that two Saiyans from the world outside have so much power? It is a fucking nightmare. I see that with you, I have to use a large part of my power. I hope I'm prepared. Broly, having gone into combat form, he was confident. Meanwhile, outside that dimension were all the gods with his rigorous training. In Universe 11 was the Destroyer God Vermouth training together with his angel Margarita. Margarita, we have trained enough for today. I think we can give ourselves a decent rest. Of course not, Mr. Vermouth. The existence of the 12 universes is at stake. If we are not powerful enough, we will die. If we don't rest enough, we won't be able to make our key recover quickly. Margarita would accept that the god of the destroyer Vermouth has her rest. However, she was a bit upset, and Vermouth had noticed this attitude that the angel was having. Everything was similar in the 12 universes, and this was all because Xenosama's negative power was flowing through the 12 universes, affecting the fundamental pillars of each universe. Meanwhile on Earth, all of those were normal months had passed since what happened. The only one who continued to train hard was Goten, who had the hope of being able to return to his father. I need a training partner, but I don't know who to tell. At that moment, he would feel the key of Trunks, who would leave that place at a great speed. At that moment of meeting him, they began to talk. Long time no see, Trunks. 
How have you been? Hello, Goten. Very good, and you? A little boring. I want my father to come back from the planet so Beerus, so that he could train with me. So that's what these bastards told you? What do you mean, Goten? Those cursed locked up my father and Mr. Vegeta in the room of time because they believed they were a threat. No, I can't believe it. They wouldn't be able to do this to our parents. It's the truth, Goten. You better not train so that when they come out, I know they'll be proud of our powers. It seems good to me. So that's why no one wanted to talk about my dad. We'll become very powerful being able to make them proud. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, he was training, since he had to manage to obtain a new transformation which was able to overcome all the gods of destruction and being at 50% of power of Daishenken before he trained. That's right, Daishenken at the end of his training had also achieved abysmal power, being on par with the super king of all. Returning to the dimension, both warriors began with a great battle. Both were very even and very injured at that moment. A strong rumble was felt through the multiverse. It was nothing more than Vegeta's power. Since Xenosama's essence was merging with it, Broly felt like Vegeta power instead of decreasing was increasing. What the hell? How can she raise his power like that without an emerging transformation? Is he also a legendary Super Saiyan? Vegito kept screaming, raising his power in a terrifying way, causing disasters all over the place. Daiku was trembling at feeling such a beastly power. Sir! The power of this individual has already surpassed all the gods, being able to eliminate them with a single blow except the three most powerful. Elsewhere, the Ice Emperor King Bayakua was surprised by the battle that was taking place far away from his universe. That battle is on another planet. I can't believe it. The power of those Saiyans is absurdly incredible. <laughs> so they weren't using all of their power. Meanwhile, with the Supreme God Ryota, he managed to convince each Supreme God to destroy Broly. However, what he was doing was giving his father much more power and being able to master the Massacre energy. When Ryota's father absorbed the last Supreme God, a light would make all those multiverses illuminate with a great light. What the hell? Another great power has appeared, but unlike Broly and that Saiyan, he's pure evil. But from one moment to another, all that majestic power had disappeared. Akiyani Helang had disappeared with all his key to be able to master all that bestial power. Akiel and his son would go to different universes to master the new powers. Father, what will our first move be? The first thing we need to find out is how powerful Yamoshi's descendant has become. He's the most powerful god among the 12 supreme gods that existed, but I doubt that his power compares with his. At that moment, they also felt the collisions of their fists. Whose other power is this? Is a new Saiyan that has come to this multiverse. I see. So if we have to train hard to be able to face them. Father and son began to train to increase their powers greatly. Returning to the battle, Broly had already decided to end it. Your power is incredible, but you still lack the power to match for me, the legendary Ultra Super Saiyan God. Broly increased his power much more, where he even had muscles grow even more. However, with his large size, he retained incredible speed, since in a few microseconds, he was able to deliver a strong blow to Vegito that would leave him out of harm's way combat. You're the second most powerful guy I've ever faced. Broly would return to his base state, however he also received great damage in the battle. After a few days in which Vegito would wake up, they would unfuse, becoming Goku and Vegeta again. So they woke up, so they know, I don't want to kill them. I just want to know how far their power goes. Ah, I understand. <laughs> Sorry for attacking you. Don't worry, they're very powerful. But that fusion is their trick up their sleeve, since the power they generate is incredible. But tell me, what brings you to the world of the Supreme Gods? We were imprisoned by the Great Price Daishenken and Xenosama. I see, so those insects are still alive. Ah, uh, Xenosama's good for nothing. Goku began to tell everything that happened to Broly, which he would understand. Now I understand everything. You being of the same race and not having negative energy are welcome to this universe whenever you want. Goku and Vegeta would raise their power by returning to the Room of Time. That's right, from that place, they began to increase their powers in an incredible way, managing to open a dimension towards the Tremor of Kamisama. 
However, when they left, all they felt is a key absurdly powerful. All the gods, angels, and high priests, and the king of everything managed to perceive such power that would make all the twelve universes shudder. Goten and Trunks, feeling the key of their parents, went quickly to the place of Kamisama. After a few minutes, they would arrive. Goten would run to hug his father, just like Trunks would do to Vegeta. I missed you so much, Dad! Forgive me for not being able to do anything when those bastards betrayed you. A long time without seeing you, Goten! I can feel how you've become very powerful. I'm very proud of you. Hello, Dad. Long time no see. My mom had told me that you were training on the planet of Mr. Beerus. That damn insect will pay me. But Trunks, your power has grown in a surprising way. You filled me with pride that you're my son. At that moment, Beerus the Destroyer God of Universe 7 would appear in front of all of them. So they managed to get out of that place. Apparently they are hard to kill. Damn monkeys! I'm surprised how even with the High Priest's seal you were able to get out of said dimension. You really are two warriors of great powers. On this occasion, I'll finish with you two damned! Let's see if you can, damn it! I highly doubt it! That moment, Beerus began to increase his power in an incredible way, causing the entire Universe 7 to tremble. However, when Goku felt how Beerus was raising his power in an incredible way, an air wave would send him off planet Earth, since it is said place where they would still see people who had not betrayed him. Here in space, if you can unleash all your power, go ahead. Damn, I hope you don't regret what you're doing. Beerus again began to increase his power in a scary way. Beerus would have passed to the new transformation of him with 100% of all his power. Now praise the power of a super god of destruction! Ha ha ha! Damn insect, your power is pathetic! Don't worry, Kakarot, I'll take care of this clown. Vegeta would go off of the Ultra Ego, which he would be able to surprise Beerus and Whis with his power that he gave off. Whis also wanted to pounce on Vegeta, but at that moment, Goku would take him by the arm, giving him a strong blow that he was not able to dodge run thousands of kilometers through that universe. How could he hit me? This can't be true! At that moment, a great battle would begin between the most powerful deities of Universe 7. However, despite the fact that Whis and Beerus had trained, they were no match for the Saiyans who were only playing with them. Goku, kill them! You have no choice, and when all this is over, you will revive them with the Super Dragon Balls. All their energy is corrupted. Currently, there's nothing that can be done. I understand, Zenshan. I'm sorry, Wissan. Was the best teacher I could have. But now everything ends. Divine Punisher! Goku would lodge a tiny sphere of ki, which would cause Whis to disintegrate, leaving no trace of it. Beerus would be surprised to witness how Son Goku had ended Whis's life without any effort. How could a mortal end the life of a guardian angel? This is amazing. I can't believe it! However, at that moment, a voice would echo from his back. This is also your end, Beerus. If you never intended to kill us, we'll revive you with the Super Dragon Balls. But if your intention was always to kill us, you'll stay in the other world forever. At that moment, the Daishenken would arrive along with 11 remaining gods of destruction, where everyone was surprised to realize that Beerus, the most powerful god of all, had been easily defeated. At that precise moment, the Daishenken began to raise all his power in a way of bestial, since he was going to fight seriously from the beginning. Dashenkin would continue to raise his power in an incredible, amazing way, making even all the universes tremble while he raised all his power. Even with all this power, I won't be able to defeat that dam. I better absorb the energy of all these dam. It's for the greater good. Dashenkin, by raising all his power, an angelic light was noticed throughout the universe. I'm sorry, gods and angels, but now you will be a part of my power. Keychains! Divine Rapture! Some chains of dark energy were entangled in all those present. Father, but what are you supposed to be doing? I'm sorry, Wiss, but if not even the most powerful god was able to face it, 
Do you think you can do it? I don't know if I can do it with my power. For that reason, I will keep all your powers. These Saiyans will annihilate everything! We should not have trusted you! Only if I allow it. Daishenken finished absorbing everyone's power. Now if I wait for you damn mortals to be ready, I will make you feel the greatest agony you have ever felt. I will kill you until you beg me to end your miserable lives. You are cursed! You and the Xenosama of the future are behind all this! I can't believe how scum you are to be able to kill your own descendants! Those bastards were nothing more than a source of my power. Now they will feel the true terror! It won't be so! Vegeta's mouth had been silenced by a strong blow. Daishaken was able to hit him even though he was with Ultra Ego, Vegeta was not able to dodge several sneaky blows that Daishaken was giving him. Vegeta was surprised by the power that this cursed man had achieved in this time. The power of Daishaken had risen in a surprising way, and both Goku and Vegeta would realize this. Damn worm, I'll not let you get away with it! I'll see that you have great power, but it will not be enough to defeat me. Vegeta began to attack Daishenken, however, with the power that he had absorbed, he was far superior to Vegeta. He was no match for this being. Vegeta, if you do not use all your power, you will be no match for that wretch who preferred to absorb all his loved ones instead of accepting defeat. Don't give me orders, you damn insect. But you're right, I'll use everything I have on this wretch. Vegeta began to increase his power in an amazing way. Vegeta at an incredible speed would go to the powerful Ultra Ego Phase 3, with which all the universes were affected by such power. Even the power of this would reach the forbidden universes. I can't believe it! The power of those Saiyans, is it a much good? And apparently they were not fused. This is the power of only one of them. In a very remote part, Ryoto was training with his father. They would also feel this great power. That power is incredible, and apparently it's from the other universes. It's impossible for a power to reach this dimension. Apparently, the beings in these millions of years have evolved in an incredible way, reaching great powers. But even so, they will not be rivals for us, since we're prodigies, and we have to fulfill an even greater dream, even if it costs us our own lives. Returning to Universe 7, Daishaken and the Princess Saiyan's Vegeta were having a great battle. They were hitting each other at surprising speeds. There was no clear winner to be seen, however Vegeta would give him a powerful blow in the face to Daishaken. But at that moment, a laugh would rumble throughout the universe. Ha 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 ha! This power is amazing. Your attacks alone are tickling me. I don't feel anything, damn. Now, do you want to just caress my face? That's how you attack. Daishaken, from one moment to the next, would deal a strong blow to Vegeta, who almost dodged it. However, the planet behind it would be left in rubble. But, but what? The power of his blow is overwhelming. This curse has turned into a monster. Vegeta will never be able to fight Daishaken. The power level is like heaven and earth. All that damn wanted was to give him hope and then break all of Vegeta's pride. Goku, Daishaken's power is increasing. From what I can tell from my counterpart in the way, it's better between the two of them to finish off Daishaken. Because if Daishaken is so powerful, I can't even imagine how powerful he became that damned. Goku would step forward with the intention of intervening in the battle, but at that moment, Vegeta would yell, Do not interfere, Kakarot! I'll take care of this doom, even if I have to end my life. That's right, Vegeta was going to sacrifice himself. Vegeta would take Daishaken and begin to increase his power in an incredible way. His whole body was charging with energy. How pathetic all mortals can be. Do you think that with a pathetic power, your final explosion will do something to me? You will die in vain. I hope to see that. Let's see what you think when I use my detonation at maximum power. Daishenken was confident, but after a few moments, his face changed to a worried one when he observed how Vegeta's determination did not give way. Do you plan to explode? You will not be able to kill me. 
Now you start to shake. I hope you're so sure when I detonate all my power. Vegeta already managed to collect a large part of power from him. Vegeta would rise into the air. Kakarot, take care of Trunks, please. Divine multiversal final explosion. Die! Dad, please don't do it. Trunks would transform into Super Saiyan Blue going to rescue his father. However, Goten would grab him tightly. We can't get close. His simple pressures can end our lives. <laughs> You've always been my partner, my friend, my greatest rival. I'll not allow you to die, Vegeta. Total armor of a king of everything. Divine protective seal. An explosion lit up that whole universe. The life of a great warrior was about to go out. The life of the Princess Saiyans was about to come to an end. The proudest warrior in Universe 7, while this explosion was happening, it would be said to be Vegeta. I see. That's how it feels to die for someone else. Now I understand you, Kakarot. I hope to see you again in the afterlife. But at that moment, when everything seemed lost for the Prince of the Saiyans, a sphere of ki covered his entire body. That's right, the technique that Goku would have executed was activated at the precise moment to save Vegeta. How are you, Vegeta? Damn insect, so you saved me at the last moment. Or at least I destroyed that damn. Everyone was shocked when they heard a loud scream. <laughs> damn monkey, I swear that all this pain will return to you multiplied by a hundred. I can't believe how that damn guy endured all this explosion. Meanwhile, in the king's palace of everything was Xenosama. So die shaken is having problems. Apparently, if I have to fight, it's time to access my combat form. Xenosama's guardians approached him. For the protection of this entire multiverse and the orders of the king of everything, we give him all our power. With this power, no one will be a match for me. Xenosama began to absorb the power of his guardians. The king of the whole had the ability to give power to their guardians, but also form a single being. At that time, only the 12 universes felt such a tremor. Several timelines that felt that power, including the beings of the forbidden universes. What? What the hell happens now? Why is everything shaking and this pressure in the air from who? Who is it? The power of the great Xenosama. I can't believe it. If he has transformed, that means he comes immediately. If I don't finish off these Saiyans, he'll exterminate me. Daishaken would go on the attack. I have to finish you now. I must not die at the hands of the king of everything. Goku would go Ultra Instinct Phase 3 Heavenly. But even with that power, he was no match for Daishaken. However, this was not his purpose. Goku wanted to give him a strong blow to merge with Vegeta. Get this! I'll say King Eliminator attack! The sound of a dragon resounded through that universe, and an immense dragon emerged from Goku's fist. Daishaken was trying to stop it even with his own body, but it was impossible. The condensed power was overwhelming. Goku would communicate telepathically with Vegeta. Vegeta, put on a Potara earring. Xenosama is approaching at an incredible speed, and even if we fight together, we'll be no match for him. You're just messing, your Kakarot. Get away from that dam. Let's merge. Goku managed to hit him by setting him flying at the beginning of Universe 7. At that moment, in the distance, Daishaken would observe how a light illuminated the entire immense universe, and a power that did not lose against that of Xenosama would be present. But now what happens? That power is as big as mine. Who is the new guy that has appeared? It easily obscures the presence of Daishaken. Daishaken would arrive at the battle site observing an imposing new warrior. Who the hell are you? I am the fusion of Kakaroto and Vegeta, and I am in charge of killing you. Vegeta would not trust himself and would go Ultra Instinct with maximum power, even combining Vegeta's Ultra Ego with which, with just three simple blows, he cut off the flow of energy to Daishaken. What the hell did you do to me? I can't release my power. I have sealed your main key veins. You'll not be able to increase your power unless you fix said key pass. The Shaker will launch himself furiously at Vegito. However, this was an extremely incredible speed that would give such a great blow which would make him writhe in pain. I never wanted to kill you, priest. 
But if Xenosama arrives and the two of them fight against me, it would be a big problem. Now you're not an opponent for me. Daishaken tried to give him a powerful blow, but at that moment, Vegeta would teleport behind him, going through his entire mouth with a strong blow, causing Daishaken to fall to the brink of death. This is your end. You should have never have sided with that evil Xenosama. Death. Big Bang Kamehameha! Increase a hundred times! Vegeta's attack was so powerful that even Xenosama, who was about to arrive in approximately five minutes, was able to observe such a detonation. Goten, Trunks, get out of this place. The battle that's coming is on another level and I don't want you to get involved. Goten and Trunks would pay attention, going to planet Earth, Vegeta would launch a sphere of ki to the planet, protecting it from all outside attacks. At that moment, Xenosama would arrive on the battlefield. So you are the dark fusion of Goku and Vegeta. Those damn monkeys are always causing problems. But for now, I will kill all of you. Simple, thoughtless apes. Meanwhile, in the Forbidden Universes, the only four overgods left alive were surprised by the power that the said other universes battle was taking place. The power of that fusion is at my 95% power. It's incredible. I can't believe it. It can't be true, my lord. You're the descendant of the great Yamoshi. But it is. You're not beings that I can see below my shoulder. Returning to the battlefield, both warriors were staring at each other, and they were about to start a great battle that would decide everything in those 12 universes. But what they did not know was that an even more powerful warrior was stalking them. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time. Oh,